The Sun, the largest celestial body near us in the solar system with a mass 333,000 times that of the Earth, is a star typically composed of hydrogen and helium. It has gifted life to Earth, but sometimes this benevolent star can become a threat to us humans. One of the threats from this star is the storms it emits, and sometimes these storms, which carry charged particles at speeds of around 8 million kilometers per hour, collide with Earth. But fortunately, the Earth has constructed for itself a protective shield, which is nothing but the magnetic field. A powerful magnetic field that has the ability to withstand these storms and intense cosmic radiations. But where does this magnetic field come from and how is it generated? Do other planets in the solar system also have magnetic fields? Is it possible for this magnetic field to one day be destroyed and endanger life on Earth? These are the questions that will be thoroughly discussed in this video. And if you're interested, make sure to complete your knowledge about them once and for all by staying with us until the end of the video. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to do so and don't forget to like the video to support us and share it with your other friends. Surely, all of you have seen the auroras up close or watched them on television and you have realized how beautiful the night sky becomes with these polar lights. But how are these auroras formed? When a solar storm, which carries charged and energetic particles, collides with the Earth, it is absorbed by the Earth's magnetic fields and transported to one of the Earth's poles exactly like a magnet that has north and south poles. Earth also has these poles where the north pole is designated as the end pole and the south pole as the S pole. Interestingly, all compasses also operate based on this property of the Earth. When a charged particle encounters the magnetic field of the Earth, it is directed towards one of the Earth's poles based on its charge. This prevents it from entering Earth's atmosphere. However, since these energetic particles collide with molecules in the Earth's atmosphere, they cause them to ionize and emit light, creating the auroras. Now that we understand how the Earth's magnetic field protects life, let's move on to the main question. How is the Earth's magnetic field formed? To answer this question, let's embark on a journey into the depths of the Earth's core together. This outermost layer is called the mantle. Metals in this region have become molten and charged, and for reasons that are still unknown, they are in motion. Since the movement of a charged fluid creates a magnetic field around it, in the same way the magnetic field of the Earth has also been created exactly like a bicycle dynamo which can generate electrical power with rotation and light up the bicycle lamp, which is called the dynamo effect. It's interesting to note that scientists have announced that the Earth's magnetic field formed approximately 3.5 billion years ago and has continuously protected the Earth since then. The planet Mars also once had a strong magnetic field like Earth's, but due to unknown reasons, its magnetic field disappeared, leading to its current state. If you're interested in discovering what would happen to Earth if its magnetic field were to disappear, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Our next video will explore the topic. Additionally, we post one mini-documentary each day, so don't forget to subscribe for more content. But is Earth the only planet that has a magnetic field? We must answer no. For example, Jupiter has the strongest magnetic field in the solar system. The magnetic field of this planet is approximately 20,000 times larger than that of Earth. 
This magnetic field is so large that if it were visible, it would be as big as the moon in the sky, but unfortunately, magnetic fields cannot be seen. The magnetic field of this giant planet is so large that it extends all the way to the orbit of Saturn. NASA has sent a spacecraft named Juno to orbit this planet in order to thoroughly observe its magnetic field and provide scientists with more information about the dynamo effect. Perhaps you should ask yourself whether this is the strongest magnetic field that humanity has ever discovered. No, let's take a journey into the depths of space to answer this question to a place that is 50,000 light years away from Earth. SGR 1806-20, a neutron star known as a magnetar, has an almost unbelievably strong magnetic field, approximately one trillion times larger than the size of the Earth. These stars rotate at an astonishing speed of 700 revolutions per second around themselves and are extremely dense and compact, with a diameter of only about 20 kilometers. Each spoon of their material has a mass of approximately 1 trillion kilograms. Many scientists have attempted to understand what factor causes the creation of such powerful magnetic fields, but so far, none of them have succeeded in unveiling the mystery of these enigmatic stars. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like it and leave your comments below. We'd love to hear your feedback.